Welcome to another week, another farm. This time we're with Haley and Eric. Thanks for having us out. Yeah, not a problem. It's our dairy goat farm that we have here. A dairy goat farm. So this is pretty cool. So this is, you're milking these goats. That's correct. So it's, we already toured a meat goat farm that they were just going for meat. We've already toured a dairy cow farm where they were milking cows. So this is even more unique. So maybe start out with, what's a day look like for you guys? We usually start morning chores at around 6.30. We'll have milkers on. And milking right now usually takes about an hour and a half. And we are milking 200, and we're hoping to get up to milking 400 by the end of this year. See, now, as we're doing this, I think I'm going to have to grab this camera because we've got, and I'll show you, one of these goats are pretty curious. Is that is that pretty typical for... These animals, are they pretty curious animals? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, a very, little too curious? Yeah, they're very <laughs> curious days. animals. They actually start chewing your barn apart sometimes. If This barn's only six years old now, and they just start chewing holes in the side of the wall, and you have to patch yeah. them up with patches. They get pretty curious all the time, yeah. do they? They come out, and the barn's been half flooded because they chew all the water hoses, and they oh, cause lots of fun. Isn't that? That yeah. makes it entertaining. So we're kind of in the middle of the barn. What are all the different pens around here? So we got a pen here and they're close to kidding anytime. There's actually probably So one. close to kidding, they're, they're gonna have like baby goats here pretty soon? They're gonna have baby goats today, tomorrow, within, within the next two weeks. So oh really? Pen will kid out. Oh really? Is, well this one's kind of off by herself. Is she maybe one that might be pretty close? Yeah, she'll Is be that... kidding out today for sure. She's digging with her feet there, trying to find a spot for her to lay in the pack to have her first kid. Really? So then she has a kid. What's the step-by-step -step process then that you go through after they have that kid goat? I give it colostrum right away as the first hours of a kid's life. It's very important for them to get the nutrients they need. Mm -hmm. And we'll take them to the shed where our kids are and they will be put under heat lamp to be kept warm. And they'll be in under the heat lamp for about two or three days until we move them to a bigger bin. And they'll be in there for about six to eight weeks until they are weaned off and not on milk anymore. And they'll come into the barn and get fed their hay and kid pellet. Until they're old enough to get, until they're old enough to get bread. And, uh, each kid they'll get- How old's that that they get bread at then? They were getting bread at 70, 80 pounds. It well, actually, you mentioned that, that this is a pen that's close. Is this about the size that they're getting close? Yeah, this pen here, they weigh around 60 pounds. So you got yeah. another 10 to 20 pounds to go. Be oh, okay. Two months. But breeding season, it only lasts from roughly uh, end, of, end of August up to uh, end of March, basically, if you're lucky on end of March. But it uh, depends how long the days they're getting. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that what actually determines... Like the cycle yeah, of a goat? The cycle of goat. Yeah. Oh, really? So you can't breed them any time through the year. It's got to be certain, or it's harder anyway. It's got to be depending on what the light outside? Yeah, the light outside is it's all natural, natural animals. In this pen here, so what's in this pen? Uh, this pen here is 90 milking goats inside this pen that we're milking right now. There's some that are starting to dry off now. We're hoping that they're all bred. We'll have to do preg checks and ensure that they are pregnant with these ones like here's two standing up by the gate eating some hay one's pink and one's what green they get mixed up in a paint can or what's with the colors no that's just the way that we identification identification for our animals we mark them with red or green just to see if they're uh, pregnant or not pregnant just oh. a way of sorting them out that must be you must have to do that because like looking at these two well, I guess that one's got a horn. That's she's pretty obvious to tell. But a lot of these, like, how do you tell them apart? How do you know one from the other? Yeah, ear tags. Oh, ear tags. They've got ear tags in them. Yeah, our identification tags are on their ears, and uh, every year is a different color. So uh, we start number one for the first ones at the start of the year, and it goes up to 150. It depends how many kids you get that year. 150 would be the youngest baby and one would be the oldest baby. Oh, okay. Oh, neat. Now, I mean, you two are fairly young. Yeah. What what made you decide you wanted to start milking goats? Because this is, like, you're brand new. Yeah. You're not multi-generation like we've talked to a lot of farms. 
you came, you bought this, you decided you want into dairy, into dairy goats. Why? Yeah, it's just, I'm coming up for my second year being on the dairy goats, and I became, decided to go with the goats just because uh, they're... They're an easy animal to work with. Like, he grew up on a dairy cow farm, and compared to them, he loves them a lot more. And really? Why? Why? <laughs> Yeah, I just like the goats a lot more. They're really unique animals to watch, and they're just a simple animal to take care of, I think. They're just finick finicky on their feeds, but we can get it into them. So. so have you learned quite a bit then in your two years of like new discoverers to the dairy goat yeah. business? Yeah. We've had definitely a few curveballs thrown at us through the process, but it's finally like going good, and... Yeah, turn ourselves around. Yeah. So you're you're going to be long-term dairy goat farmers is the plan. That's our plan. Yep. Yeah, we plan on getting up to 400 and then building our new barn and milk 800. Oh wow, so. that's very cool. So now with this, I mean, there's a few different things that I noticed. I mean, obviously being a dairy cow farmer, one is that an udder on a goat actually has two teats yep. versus the four teats that I get to milk with, yep. um, and then in terms of the milk itself. It's a different type of milk. What does it get used for? Yeah, so the milk actually the, it gets used for 98% of our milk goes for cheese and 2% goes for fluid milk. And uh, our cheese just gets put inside the stores. Any grocery store you go to, there'd be goat cheese, goat milk that you can buy. Why does, you know, young people like yourselves, why, why do you want to be farming? Why do you like farming? I just like farming and I think it's just it's just I enjoy it. It's almost like a hobby to me, but it's, just, it's a lot of work to somebody else. <laughs> yeah. As long as as long as you enjoy it, I yeah. guess it's not really doesn't feel like work because it's a three hundred sixty five day yeah. a year yeah, job, right. yeah. milking every morning, no matter what. Yeah. Holidays, yeah. Holidays and all that kind of stuff. Well, and I always said to him ever since I've known him, uh, all I could ever see him doing is farming. So he went with it. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't going to be happy any other way. <laughs> cool. Well, thanks for having us out. Yeah, thanks no a lot. Problem. That was perfect.